Hi guys, Silver Gopher here. And today I wanted to show you guys a set of vintage coins from the Isle of Man. Now, this is another crown dependency of the United Kingdom, which is located in the Irish Sea between Northern Ireland and England. Now this is the last of these dependencies that we'll look at for a little while. Um, I got in some more South Pacific and Caribbean coins we may look at here in the next few weeks. Now, kind of like Guernsey and Jersey that uh, we looked at over the last few weeks, uh, the Isle of Man is big into offshore banking, but actually it looks like they make most of their money through online gambling, which I thought that was pretty cool. Now, this is a set of coins from 1975, and this is the first of their decimal coins. Now, the lower denomination coins are all made out of bronze, and the higher denomination coins are copper nickel. And they start with like with the half penny here, which is just a bit smaller than a US penny. You've got the five pence here, which is pretty much exactly the same size as a US quarter. So give me a second, we'll zoom in, take a closer look at these guys. And here is the one half new penny. On the obverse here we have a portrait of the Queen. And around the edge it says Elizabeth II with a date 1975 down at the bottom. Now the obverse features the flowers of the common ragwort which is the unofficial national flower of the Isle of Man. Now it's classified as a noxious weed. It's poisonous to cattle and horses, uh, but it does have some really pretty yellow flowers. And they are quite popular when they're not on your farm. Now, Around the coin up at the top it says Isle of Man. At the bottom, half new penny. Next up we have the one penny, which has the same obverse. The reverse features these crossed uh, chains. And these are actually based on chains that are found on the sides of 10th and 11th century Norse cross slabs. Now these are stone slabs that are usually carved with a Celtic cross and they often have these chains running down that are carved alongside the cross on these slabs. Uh, like the other coin across the top it says Isle of Man. At the bottom it says one new penny. Next, we have the two new penny. Again, the same obverse. And on this one, on the reverse, we have a pair of falcons. Now, historically, uh, that was the tribute that had to be given uh, to the king of England on his coronation by the rulers of the Isle of Man. Now, that brings us to the five new pence. Again, the same obverse. And the reverse, there in the center, you have the Tower of Refuge. Now, in Douglas Bay, where the capital is, there's uh, St. Mary's Island, which is a partially submerged reef. And apparently, everybody kept crashing into it. Uh, shipwrecks on the island were a major problem. So in 1832, they built this tower and they stocked it with provisions, uh, installed a bell so shipwrecked sailors could ring it for help from the shore. Um, that's really cool, but I w couldn't find anything to really say why they didn't just build a lighthouse on that island. Now, next up is a 10 new pence. 
still with Elizabeth on the obverse. And in the center you have the three legs of man. And this design is also called a triskelion. Now this is the official arms of the Isle of Man going back to the 13th century when there still had kings on the island. Uh, the actual origins of this are unclear because the design goes all the way back to pagan times. And it may re represent the sun or changes, cycles, different things like that. Last up, we have the 50p. And another one of these square-sided square coins. Now, this one actually features a really nice engraving of a Viking longboat. And this is to celebrate the fact that there's a lot of Viking heritage there on the Isle of Man. Um, from the time of the early 9th century, you had lots of Vikings coming over to plunder the area. But eventually they started settling down towards the end of the 9th century. And then for the next couple of hundred years, uh, the island was actually under Norse rule. So, just a quick look at some of these coins from the Isle of Man. I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, guys, take care.